Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to talk about Nova Spectrum. This is my latest project. Welcome to Nova Spectrum. I'm Samuel Zimmerman, the artist behind this visionary project. Nova Spectrum is where audio, visuals and performance arts converge into a spectacular experience. Join me as we explore the creations that have shaped this journey. And it's one in a now catalog of different psychedelic music projects that I created from the ground off. And I'm talking about this one because it's the last one. There would be totally a good reason to do the same for Evernoise, for 13 Monkeys or for Parandroid. And maybe I will if this video responds well. Let's see about that. And you can help with that by liking, sharing and commenting, of course, to trick the algorithm in um, making you think that this is something relevant. Maybe it is something relevant. Probably it is. Nova Spectrum was born six months ago and I'm looking like if I would be reading out of a book here, uh, word by word. I'm not. I just have bullet points. While I was tripping uh, slash traveling in America and in Mexico, it was so good. I'm so happy that one of the parts of my career, undoubtedly a huge part, was traveling the world, getting invited to plus 25 countries before I finished my 30th birth birthday. And that in itself, to me, is always fucking incredible, to be completely honest with you, that this happened, that really people from all over the world, you know, invited me to all those exotic and amazing places. But this video is not about that. What is Nova Spectrum? Nova Spectrum was an audio-visual approach more than my other projects from the beginning. And I cast the net super, super wide as I usually do. So I was thinking about a performance project because I am a performer, not only of music, but also of acrobatics. So I thought to implement that and that is still in the back of my mind. After working on the project for six months, I can say, though, that it has become clear that I, as I so often do, you know, cast a wet ex... <laughs> not the wet. Sorry, guys, I'm stoned, but I deserve it. So cast a net very wide and, you know, thinking about projections, thinking about how to revolutionize psychedelic events per se through lights and sound and other things and a lot about 3D projection mapping and also the, the creation of, of more narrative side trends content and a lot more things, costumes and so forth. But I am a producer, you know, that can only do so much, of course. So reality hit after a couple of months, of course. I'm not stupid. I know like, okay, what you actually want to do costs thousands and thousands of dollars and you don't have a monetization plan because you are used to just like people inviting you all over the planet and give you tons of money for it. And that was the majority of my life. It's, it was simply like that. So, you know, monetization strategies is something that I totally skipped. I guess, in my education plan, because I literally only did art all my life, or mostly, mostly art and art adjacent activities. So it became clear, I have to focus on what I do best, doing music, because this is in general very important. Let me fucking check if the camera is recording. It is. The camera is recording. That's great. If you're an artist, be an artist. Don't try to be a broadcaster. Don't try to be a presenter. It's funny because I'm just kind of like doing those things. Focus on the art, ma 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 you know, in its majority. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't do anything else. If you want to start any hobbies or become pro proficient in, like for me, example, photography, videography, cutting, video, graphic, graphic design, all those things. I studied them, them on a university as well a long time ago, in the same time when I started to become a professional music producer. The initial vision, as I said, described very wide net. There were a couple of other people involved, but as per usual, you know, if there is no real money involved, people can only offer so much of their time, I guess, or something like that. 
uh, anyway, nobody was like seriously contributing apart from me. So I focused on, on me and creating some incredible music, which performed outperformed my expectations because it's really, really, really tough in nowadays world with the AI floods of garbage open to Spotify, etc., to actually, you know, hit through or break through with anything on any platform. When I released the first Nova Spectrum stuff on YouTube, one of the tracks Nova Ascension immediately hit 5K. I think in less than four weeks, certainly. And I think like, yeah, the traffic came in quickly because the shit was good and the shit is good. I'm just like, I'm doing this for all my life. You know, is, is there any question about like, can this guy produce amazing music? No, no. I've been invited to so many high profile festivals and released on all major labels in my, in my subgenre. So there is no question about that nowhere in the world. Am I a good music producer? That question can be answered thoroughly with a surrounding yes. And I'm not claiming that I'm like that in everything. This is just my speciality as a human. I chose this craft. Where are we? We are on the way to our first album launch in, I think I'm setting it up for December, which will include some of the singles. There are some amazing singles, Puertas de la Percepción. I hate to say it, but this is some of my greatest work recently. It's just not high-tech psychedelic trance, it's psytrance. That's all. That is all. That's the only factoid that you need to be okay with, is that it is not what I did all my life before. It is something new, but it comes with all the knowledge and it comes especially with all the dedication. You know, it's all about like, the dedication and also learning about the process. Rick Rubin, thank you very, very much. I love you. Seriously, dude. Rick motherfucking Rubin is a fucking Yoda. I say it again. Where will we go? This will be very interesting because there is no guarantee in any artistic project that it goes anywhere before you test it out on the people. Our first experiments absolutely point towards a really striking success because this was without any funding one person doing all the work from distribution to the creation of the music videos to uh, pretty much everything with the slightest help of some pre people from america and that only in the beginning so you know where we will go this depends on how well i can set up the communication and how this wider community of Psytrance reacts to this pretty good music, in my opinion. I don't want to shower myself too much. You know, things just are as they are. I myself didn't know, will it become good, will it be not become good. I only knew that I'm going to do something that really means something to me, because this is what I'm good at. All the other stuff is a waste of time. With that said, also, I think we can end that video. If you're an artist, concentrate on making art. See everything else as a side dish to your path of creation, which encapsulates everything. It's a holistic approach. And no, we are not talking about yoga and Pilates. We're talking about that you need to engage with your whole existence into the pro process of creating stuff that is relevant to humanity and meaningful to hopefully a lot of people. Don't get distracted by gossip or by any social media bullshit. And in general, do what you love and believe in yourself. Don't get confused in this weird net of social media. I love you and may your path be trodden in wisdom. I see you guys very soon. <laughs>